Let's move on to the BRVM. The BRVM 10 index closed last week at 225 points. That was up 3.7%, while the All Share Index, the BRVM Composite, gained about 3.2% to close at 202 points. The currency is currently trading around 513 points. Let's now speak to Nelly Fofana. She is an analyst with SGI Hudson and C to give us some perspective on that market. Nelly, thank you so much for joining us. All right, Nelly, if you can just talk us through your expectations for this market. Like, we've, we see that it's, it's perhaps lagging behind Nigeria and Ghana right now. Your thoughts about where the BRVM is likely to go from here. It's done pretty well as well this year, up over 10%. But where do, where do you see it headed going forward? Um, so, um, we can see um, the growth in trend on the market. Um, which is globally increasing with higher stock prices. Mm. Um, this increase is due to the strong performance recorded in the full year 12 um, results publication, as well as good prospect expected on future results. All right. Let's talk a bit about some of those results. Quite a few companies have re re reported. We have the likes of Nestle, Uniwax, Air Liquid. Which, which result stands out the most for you? Which stock do you think people should be focusing on right now? Um, let's stick to the results and then I can make some recommendations. Right. Um, for the moment, we have Nestle. Um, Nestle revenues are up 16%, but the net profit showed a loss of 5.7 billion CSA against a loss of 6.3 billion CSA uh, last year. Um, this loss is a consequence of increasing cost of sales and operating expenses up 16% and also financial cost 16%. All right. Which other company, um, though? Because there are quite a few that have reported recently. Um, we have the likes of Uniwax, for instance. Is that a stock you like? Yes, Uniwax um, made good um, improvements this year, thanks to the Ivorian economic growth, the recovery of the Ivorian um, territorial integrity, and the fight against counterfeit goods. Um, revenues are up 16% to 26 billion CFA. Okay. It grew um, 300 percent, and net income to that 1.4 billion CFA compared to a loss of 767 million in 2011. All right. Okay, Nelly, I think we may have to wrap it up there. Uh, thank you so much for joining us, Nelly Fofana from SGI Hudson and C, talking us through a few of the results out on the BRVM.